Hey science folks, it's good to be talking to you. Let's graph with our Chromebooks. I know some of you really like Desmos, so let's take a look at Desmos. Okay, uh, We'll do our sand first, and then we'll get our water on the same graph. Okay, now a lot of times with Desmos I see students... Please tell me I'm going to have this. Oh, I have to uh, mess around with this window a little bit. I'm sure some of you are watching and saying, Mr. this is an easy way to do that. Well, I got what I needed done. Uh, I've seen some people graph with Desmos and they put in the points. So 0, 22.8. And I think they get a point on the graph. Whatever. I'm not going to mess with that. I'm going to hit this plus and I'm going to choose table. All right, so 0, 1, 2. And actually, it knows what I want to do. So I'm just going to hit enter. And it's going to go all the way down to 16. Okay, now I've got to enter in these numbers. So I'm going to do the first three. All right, so there's my first three. And then if I click this little magnifying glass, it kind of zooms. thought it zoomed automatically to like the scale I need. Okay, there we go. So I've got three points then. Awesome. And I can just fill in the rest and I'd be able to see the shape of my graph. Well, if I want the uh, water data on the same graph, I'm just going to hit plus, table, and repeat. So now I have my second table. No, I'm not going to put all those. You can put all 16 in. I'm just going to do the first three data points. So now if we look on the graph, I see these are my sand data points and these are my water data points. So at the end of the day, there are ways on Desmos where you can make uh, lines show up. Um, if you click this and then click that, you can put a line on it. Okay. So, oops, I just deleted it. Uh, Okay, so I just put a line on that one. So you can do that. Um, but with Desmos, you kind of have to know how. So that's one thing I don't like about Desmos, is it's kind of exclusionary because you have to know how to do these things. But I mean, I guess that has to do with all websites. But Quick Graph, from my other video, it's a little more intuitive. Like you don't need to know how to do what I just did to, to get a, um, something on your graph. Uh, there are ways to label the graph, but if you just want to label in your packet, you can. Um, the, the labels in Desmos are not as pretty, in my opinion. The uh, words are kind of scrunched off into the corner. You can try it. Um, let me know if you want to try it, and I can show you where to go. I'm just going to click Done. Uh, if I enter in all my other data, then I'll end up... It'll build that graph more and more. Okay. So if you want to do Desmos... Go ahead and do Desmos and let me know if you have any questions building your graph. Let's get away from graphing by hand.